welcome to Star Trek Mission Report. I'm Josh. I'm Steve. So episode two, you know, we open up um, with the Mars. And again, my notes are kind of bullet point too, so it might be out of order. But, uh, you know, kind of the recap on Mars, what happened um, when the sense turned uh, on on humanity. So, I mean, one and one thing, and if I missed it, correct me but i mean we still don't really know why they turned right right i mean it's there's no motivation clearly behind a, it. A, a program it's a program Something happens in the Who eyes programmed why right. you know so i mean there's a lot of unanswered questions that, exactly you know hopefully they'll get to because it's an interesting plot device and it's the basis of the entire series so far so you know if we're not going to get to the you know, what happened and why right well we know what happened but the why it happened but so, yeah, so you know, we we see that humans apparently aren't as enlightened anymore as they used to be. Yeah, because they're basically just bullying these androids. They're assholes. They're total assholes. Like, you I'm know? okay with. There's like dying. one nice one, you know that. Yeah. You know, is like trying to be a regular person, but uh, they taught him to say like uh, hell yeah, yeah, and things like that. And I'm like, again, too contemporary. Too contemporary. You can talk better than this. The attempts at humor overall in this series, I think, are missed just a little bit. Mm-hmm. They're just off. Yeah. You know, I I don't want to see Patrick Stewart, you know, giving funny little double takes. And, you know, <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. Right, right. Um, some characters can pull that off better. You know, that's yep. that's not what he's he should be doing. But, um, you know, and so then... Uh, it's Picard and what's her name? The who he lives with? Laris. Laris is the guy, right? Uh, no, no. Uh, Z- Zaban is the guy. Okay. Laris is the, okay. Is the lady. Yep. So yeah, so he he goes with her and they kind of investigate what happened. Yeah. In um, Daj's apartment. Cheeky fuckers. <laughs> right. Which and, is all right. Yeah, it was all right. In Romulan CSI time, you know. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Right, I, I thought the concepts were cool, but it just it just seemed too easy mm-hmm. to re re piece together. Right, and um, and I, I get it. It's sci fi, you know. We're hundreds of years into the future. Blah 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 blah. Um, but that's you know you, that that was impressive. Yeah, that you was know pretty... it was it was neat, but it was also just kind of you know I don't know. If, I didn't fully buy into it, but I, I still thought it was cool. Right. Yeah. Um, Did you like the Beeman effect? Yeah. I thought that neat, was pretty right? neat, too. Um, kind of a throwback. Yeah. So, you know, they uh, you know, kind of see what happened, you mm-hmm. know, with, with, with that. And um, Picard realizes that, you know, he needs to go out and find this twin. Because um, they, again, forensically check... Yeah, phone logs and whatnot. That was kind of that, that was cool. I liked you that this, part. <laughs> My brain was like, oh, what? right. I liked that part that more cool. than the actual recreation of, oh, hey, they're just laying there chilling. I I could do without that. Yeah, that one. That was the weird part to me. They but, said uh, uh, someone out there in the inner internet, uh, interwebs, if you will. Yeah. Uh, they said that it was like a total knockoff of uh, Star Lord's tech in uh, Guardians. Oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, exactly. It's borrowing a lot from. It's, there's various sources we're seeing some borrowing, you know. Checks at the trends, but I think it's also behind the time, so it's playing catch up. So it's well, right? It's kind of it like took a break. Yeah, I mean they're all borrowing from each other, but and it you, wasn't too on the nose. I did not remember that right. seeing that until someone pointed it out. I'm like, like oh, every yeah, episode, I'm like, right. oh shit, yeah, duh. Yeah, that's but funny. Anyway, yeah, the whole log thing was better. I think. I think so too. I thought that part was like I was on board with. I'm like, all right, now that makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know, they could find that and isolate and the whole whole deal. Do you like the hologram L cars thing? Um, like I, I get it's showing off the tech, but is it be hard to read to me? It'd be hard to read <laughs> to me across the room still. Yeah, I mean, you have to have a really good focus because I'd be like looking through it the whole time. Yeah. You know. Right. <laughs> I'd be like, there'd be an eight on the screen. I'd be like moving back, seeing what it will fit inside the eight. I mean, you just, put your finger too far, right. you knock over the lamp. But this like, is oh. why I'm an idiot. And, yeah. and those people on the show are smart. You know, right. So. They've, they've gotten used to it. Right. <laughs> they've gotten used to it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, so, so they figure out there's a twin and it's time to go hunting. So Picard, you know, hits Starfleet and he's pretty much resoundingly told to piss off. I yeah, mean, Jesus. there was no. Another F word. Yeah, and there was a, a semi-humorous moment. The guy didn't recognize him right. when he was going to check in. You know, um, 
uh, you know that one wasn't bad it wasn't great but you know i was fine with it but the admiral that uh, he talks to i mean she just didn't like him at all fucking hubris right you know i Dude, mean save the world like how many times yeah everyone shits on picard in this show just she was like almost unnecessarily hostile yeah and they amped up the music and uh-huh. i felt like she was gonna turn into something yeah because she just started getting louder and i'm like what the hell right it was it was just a little off-putting yeah, I guess she didn't get to like the interview you know but... right yeah and so that <laughs> that, pressed. that that scene was just kind of I don't know. It was it was bizarre. But then you know we see later there at headquarters that um, Cersei Lannister is working for another admiral type lady, <laughs> you know, or the head of security or whatever it's it common, was. It's a commodore. Which yeah, brought that back. Right, it was interesting. And she's played by the uh, chick from Karate Kid too. Right, the yeah. love interest. So I did not recognize her, but yeah, I didn't either. But uh, she's a Vulcan or Romulan. I. Th- Vulcan? I got Vulcan. But very kind of emotional. Right. So, it's like, so it could be Ro- I don't know if she's Romulan posing. I wasn't really sure. Cybox daughter. They, right. There wasn't a ton of um, explanation on, mm-hmm. on that. But, uh, you know, clearly they're up to the infiltration of Star- or Starfleet. Yeah. And uh, uh, whether other people know or not. There's you no know, hope. Yeah, there's no hope. I mean, we don't know the depth of what that conspiracy might look like. Starfleet's obviously changed a little bit. Yeah. And I, I wanted to, when he was in the lobby, when Picard first checked in, yeah. it bother you that they showed the Enterprise D, which I was like, did they recognize you entered? And they're like, oh, throw up the old ship. <laughs> right. Uh, why did it go to Pike's prize from Discovery? That's why I don't understand. You're yeah. honoring this, but you're not honoring Kirk's. Right. You know, it's just an, it's kind of a nitpick, but still it's kind of hard to understand, like, yeah, who did Chatner piss off? You know, what I mean, so that's kind of the yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. kind of wondering. I get it. They're trying to really bring it in. It's like maybe you should yeah. have redesigned it. So, I do like the new design, but it's yeah. not it's not in that world. Right? They had uh, comparisons. You know, yeah, it's almost times. a separate. Yeah, you know, it feels like a separate timeline, even though it's technically supposed to not be. Right. Uh, and it does bother me. We get and throughout the episodes, we get yeah. a ton of Discovery shuttles. Right. Did they just get like a surplus in and like, right. they got to use these shuttles? Yeah. Is it so hard to scan in an old shuttle from before? You know, things like that. I think what happened was that they uh, took a look at the episode one budget. Yeah. And then realized, well, we've already got these I on can't file. Scan anymore in. <laughs> we better just use this guy. Don't they um, use a cheap fifties budget? <laughs> just flew the ships on paper or something. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like noticeably moving up and down. You know, like they're got a spring. The shaking his yeah, hands. he's shaking. And wires. He, has, yeah. he can't hold it steady. But yeah. So that the Romulan. Chick, so yeah. She clearly uh, got some. Temporary surgery to yeah. look human. Yep, and she uh, not nice. No, and we find out that she has her brother is Narek. Yeah, the um, Jamie family. Lannister <laughs> version incest to, to her Cersei, and and he's the one trying to seduce our friend Soji, who is the twin sister. And of us Dodge. in turn, and it's working right, and it works. Yeah, I mean it didn't take long, right? You know, Soji's. Uh, you know, a sweet talker. She's attractive, but uh, she's dumb. Yeah, for being a an android. Right. But you know, again, she's also not activated. She she thinks she's a human. She thinks you know. I gotta correct you. Synthetic. Synthetic. Not android. My bad. Don't you say that word. Android gone. <laughs> Don't you do it. <laughs> Android's my phone. Kurtzman's gonna come right in. He's here, gonna come right in take here. Take us out. Say, I need you to stay on brand, Steve. Men in black style. He's activated. So yeah, he's yeah finally. <laughs> When I'm activated is like when I'm in the machine shed buffet. Right. That's that's when I'm in my most dangerous. That's what the waitress screams. Right. He's activated. <laughs> they know. Yeah. Well, that's funny. The second they pour out new waffles, <laughs> you know, the children die. Whoever's in my way, yeah. it's over. It was worth it. Right. Totally worth it. Um, but so you know, as we see Picard, you know, understanding that he now has to try other methods. Mm-hmm. You know, he wants to get a you know, proved to Starfleet, so he sees his old doctor friend from the Stargazer, right? Yeah. Now, did he ever make it onto TNG, or was that just a... I don't a, think so. I don't think I so looked. either. I looked at the actor on IMDb, and I never saw a credit. He's a, he's a character actor I'm familiar with, but he was never on... That's why I was wondering, because I've right. seen this guy a zillion times, right. and a zillion things, and so I just couldn't remember. I was upset but. when Picard interrupted him. He was telling, he's talking about Stargazer. Oh, yeah. Time on Stargazer. He's like, nah, nah, I'm like, damn it, Picard. Yeah. I want to hear this. This yeah. is world building. Come on. Yeah, they... Uh, More of this. Come on. It was... Remember that time? Shut up. And, you know, he wouldn't clear him, which I loved. 
Mm-hmm. You know, that was realistic. Yeah. You know, because we see a lot of things happening in this series where, you know, Picard's just kind of getting his way sometimes. Sometimes he's not. Mm-hmm. You know, and sometimes when he does, it's like, eh, you know, would that have really happened? Right. right but yeah. uh, so that was kind of a cool callback. So then we, you know, he has to find alternative methodology to. Mm-hmm to get on this mission and that's hiring another captain from just a random civilian type ship um which i do like the whole freighter thing because i do too kirk referred to that in star trek 3 yeah when you try and get the enterprise back it's like i'll hire a ship right a freighter exactly I it builds the world more like yeah. it's not just starfleet there's it's, other ships out there there's other stuff right you know and uh not just the ones that explode really quick like in, uh <laughs> again star trek 3 where right. they have the data genesis yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, it was <laughs> Jim Ignatowski from Taxi. Is the uh, yeah. Well, and most people know him as the Doctor in Doc Back Brown, to the Future. Yeah. yeah. Okie doke. Yeah, I knew him from the seventies when he was on Taxi. Yeah. <sighs> you know, he's like That's all he did. He was high out of his mind ninety nine percent of the time. You're right. Uh, Alex, how do you channel? Uh... Uh, Chang or what did he play? He didn't play Chang. I forgot what he played. Oh, like, yeah. How do you channel that? I'm just going to use the same thing from Tax. Right. Yeah. He's exactly. A relative. He's a total relative. He's a God. That was beam great me though. Up. <laughs> beam me up. Um. Oh God. So it was you know, but again, you know, we in in all the scenes we see with Soji and Eric, you know, this guy's clearly a creep. Mm-hmm. You know, and like we a Twilight either, creep. Well, right. We we the viewer know what his motives are already, you know, and and obviously she doesn't. So that makes us view him differently mm-hmm. as we see him on screen. Part of me wishes that we might have seen him play out for maybe a few episodes more is maybe not as like we don't know he's got an agenda. Mm-hmm. You know, it was that was spoiled pretty early, which which is which is fine, but Maybe a flashback for him, like everyone's getting a flashback. Yeah, right, you know. You know and I, I, we still see that. Who knows? Yeah, because now, I mean, I don't have, I don't like the guy in any way, shape, or form, you yeah. know. And so, um, he's not a total asshole, but he's, I mean, he's border, he's pretty much borderline. Yeah, you know? like he does, he is falling for Soji, I think. Yeah, um, you know, in different ways, and maybe his sister. I'm not sure. Don't know if he ever did right. that, but it kind of implies like. He's like, I'm trying to resist. Like, oh. Yeah, there's this weirdness. Yeah. It's like, I do not like this chick. A little too weird. Can but she die uh, now? Yeah. Yeah, she's got the whole Romulan dominatrix thing going on. <laughs> kind of scary. Brother. Um, yeah. <laughs> if I heard anyone ever call me brother like that, oh, God, I'd probably <laughs> I'd just run. Um, but, you know, so there it is. They, uh, they, they kind of start setting up what the adventure is going to look like for Picard. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we meet, is it Rafi this episode? Uh, next episode. Next episode. At okay. the end of this episode, we do. That's right. At the very end, he goes. He gets the, the communicator out. Yeah, so. goes to one of the 5,000 deserts um, that exist where people randomly live. And, uh, yeah, and she's a. Uh, she basically lives in a trailer um, the in the desert. The first thing was Domino's, and then they didn't answer. Right. Was, oh, Raffi. <laughs> Raffi. Don't hang up. Yeah. Did that bother you, that line? Don't hang up? It didn't really yeah. bother me until after, I guess. I was just like, yeah, it's kind of a, a phrase for our times. It was another one of those things where it's like, that's... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't think they'd still be saying that then, but whatever. I mean, you could say it's nitpicking, but I just think they've always been so advanced, and they never had to rely on language to... Get your interest. I right. just feel it's very. Um, um, I hear the f bomb. It's jarring. Premature. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just like a, a youth wrote it. Like yeah. this is cool, man. Fuck the government. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's um, I, I don't know, but I, and I don't mind yeah. the, the language. Like if I'm watching an Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah. And I don't hear the f word mm-hmm. like in one of his comedies from the '80s. I'm like, well, what's wrong with the guy? Is he okay? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just, <laughs> you know. It's so just, to me, it's just it's it's the a, source. It's knowing their source exactly. Yeah. That's a great way to put it. So. Yeah. Did you like the whole um, gray zone and the Borg queue? How they were establishing that? Like they're bringing Borgs out of the collective. Although there's a scene, I think that Borg's dead, and she's and so she communicates with it in, in their own language, I believe, and right. says you're you're free. Yes. All that, and you know, of course, you got the doctor who's very like. Not not nice about yeah. the whole situation. Just very methodical. Yes, yes. You know, and um, and and Soji's just more of a almost a nurturing type. You mm-hmm. know, hey, you're you're free from this now, which was pretty uh, 
I mean, it was a really cool take on, you know, how they're trying to de-Borg the Borg. Right. Um, While they excavate the Borg cube. Do you right. find that interesting, that whole concept? I love that. There's a lot going on there. It's not just about that. It's like... I love the Borg cube <clears throat> piece. Yeah. Um, and they've made it look really cool. The part that I'm trying to think of... Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if you saw it, but, uh, you know, it's been X amount of days... Yes, so, that was hilarious to me. You know, that was pretty good. Yeah. I like the Romulan dude with the mohawk. Right. Like, if you get in the, what do you say? If you get in the gray zone, or, or if your communicator goes off, run. Yeah, like that was that was cool. That was cool. So it's pretty fun. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see how much more they explore of the cube and and all that as we continue to go. But uh, that's definitely new ground. Yeah, definitely so, new ground. But not uh, a whole lot of retreading, I guess. You know, not a bad episode, but uh, you know, if. I, I'd probably give the first one a four out of five, or maybe a five out of five. Yeah. This one, I'd probably give a three out of five. If they extended the first episode by a half hour, you probably didn't need these other two episodes. Right. Uh, you know, that's that's the thing. There there is a lot of like stuff I think you could edit out, which, yeah. which we'll get into even more. Yeah. But overall, it could be like one nice big movie. You right. Know? Um, maybe they'll do a fan edit. Who yeah. Knows? Well, until next time, I'm Josh. I'm Steve. Two to beam up. <laughs>